We got an update on Chandler Jones. Oosh. According to Ian Rapaport, sources, Raiders pass rusher Chandler Jones has been placed on the non-football illness list as he deals with a personal issue. The team has stood behind him and no one has ruled out a return if the situation improves. You can always tell the NFL writers because they'll tell you the most, like the general facts, right? The facts. And then they're always sugarcoated at the end. The team has stood behind him and no one has ruled out a return if his situation improves, right? Because they want to put lipstick on a pick, right? Because they want to maintain relationships with the agents and coaches and GMs and players. So anytime anything happens like this, they're always like, oh yeah, he's out for the season, but he'll be back better than ever next season is committed to the rehab process. You know what I'm saying? There's always like, there's always that part of it at the end of it. When it's the national media. We're so, not even getting that. What is the non-football injury list and what does it mean? Uh, so basically it's an, it's an injury or illness that occurred outside of team activities. If a player is on it during the season, he has to miss at least four games. So it's kind of like injured reserve a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Basically. So he's out for at least the next four games. Most importantly, it frees up a roster spot. Every team doesn't want to waste roster spots on someone that's going AWOL and doing nothing but playing on Twitter. Blackmailing you on Twitter. Shit. Exactly. Now, the other part is you don't have to pay a player's base salary for the games that they miss. So we're like, oh, awesome. Chandler Jones is making so much money. We can save a little bit of that. Sorry. He's only, he's only making $1.165 million of base salary of the 17 million he's due because he's already been paid that 17 mil when they restructured his cap. So we're not saving any money. We're not trading him for assets. All we're doing, the only win we got was we save, saved a mill and opened up a roster spot. That's it. Rough. That's the update that we have. Now this is, now I have a couple questions. Okay. You have to qualify for this designation. You have to have some sort of, I, I don't know for sure if like a medical doctor has to fill out something for it, but I know you need a, you can't just say like, oh, we're going to, we're going to throw on the NFI. It's like, no, you need, you need documentation of some kind that proves that this guy is compromised with an illness or injury that didn't happen on the football field. I wonder what that is. Is it like he's diagnosed schizophrenic? Did they lie and make something up? Did they just say he's hurt? Like, you can't just say, all right, it's really weird. Let's throw him on this list. You have to prove this. You have to prove something somehow. What is that proof? It sucks, man. It's got to be some kind of mental episode. So we both, you know, been around the fight game for quite some time. Mm. And I've, I've known this to happen. I don't know if you've known this happen. Probably. But sometimes I've noticed, or I, I know of a couple of instances where the fighters that have been getting a little bit older feel like some type of psychotropic mood, you know, drug that they're taking. Like, let's say like a Xanax or something like that, right? As yeah. a prescribed that. Let's just say, for example, they feel like maybe they're losing a little bit of, of their edge as they get a little bit older, you know, like, you know, maybe they don't feel like they're getting old and like, you know, they're naturally just, you know, declining in, in ability. Mm -hmm. They feel like their their uh, their mood drugs are causing them to lose an edge. So they stop taking them. And to deal with the repercussions of that, they start self-medicating and that creates a huge spiral. There's a guy that we know. I don't know. I've met him before. I don't know if you've met him. Uh, last name rhymes with Schmiller who's getting in some trouble, who that pretty much happened to. Uh, Jason Mayhem Miller was crazy before. Yeah. And then this just kind of, you know. Well, he stopped. The spark you know, the keg. From what I hear, I don't know exactly yes or no, but from what I hear, he kind of stopped, you know, really taking any type of, you know, prescribed drugs for what he was, you know, going through. Uh, and he started self-medicating more than he did was before. And it just didn't work out well. I mean, there's, there's, I mean, that's as good of a hypothesis as exists. I mean, I haven't, they're all being so tight lipped. We know whatever's going on with Chandler Jones, he's still like got his phone and is still tweeting and is still out and about. Pictures of Harriet like Tubman. <laughs> right. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's not like he's like drooling in a corner somewhere. Right. The other part of this too is, I think, in something we've, we've talked about before is, you know, how Antonio Brown. 
there was kind of whispers that he was kind of a wild card when he was with the Steelers. But Mike Tomlin and company kept it all pretty much under wraps. We had no clue how just how insane Antonio Brown was until he went to the Raiders and he lost his mind, right? Um, as much as I hate the Patriots, they run a really tight organization. And Chandler Jones could have always been this crazy. Car- at the Cardinals, maybe the same case as well. But not until he got here where it's just not an organization that's good at hiding the crazy did this all kind of come out. He could have always been this way and – it just came to a head here. Your theory is certainly plausible as well. There's, of course, that instance in 2016 where he was smoking spice and lost his mind and went to a... Again, a, maybe a, a, he a, stopped taking know, his medication and started self-medicating. We don't know. Back on spice again. I mean... Who knows? He's still tweeting, and it's making less sense. So you talked about how he's basically... Hey, y'all, follow me on all my platforms. Love and peace. And he, 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 like, deleted, he deleted some. He deleted the ones talking about how Mark Davis is like... Um, like pimping out players' wives. I was blackmailing Mark Davis. Like someone he got molested ones. and shit. Like what? Yeah, the like, fuck? he deleted the like weird, like the weird heavy ones, but he kept the weird lighthearted ones. Maybe free game until I play my AG story. That cereal, eat it. It'll do you good. Don't even know what that means. Posted a screenshot of an Instagram story. I'm posting free game until I see Larry Fitzgerald, and then sorry, Johnny Bones is. UFC champion brother. Sorry, Johnny Bones. Orders. Don't know what that means. Drake. Just a picture of Drake. And then my favorite one. No context. No caption. Just a shot of Harriet Tubman. <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> Maybe he wants to remind everyone about the Underground Railroad. Maybe he was reading a history book and thought really ins- that was very inspired by Harriet Tubman. I don't know. Is September 19th like a holiday I don't know about? Not like that I'm aware Underground of. Railroad Day? I, I don't know. I don't Most know. Most likely scenario, he's just like, please, please tell me. Please tell me he's sane enough not to think like, because he's talking about how I'm such a victim. Drake, Antonio Brown, Alden Smith. I know how you guys feel. Rocky We're all in the Kanye. Same Kanye. Please tell me he's not like, I'm a hero like Harriet Tubman. Like, I'm a martyr. I'm a vessel for good. Just like one of the most inspiring female members of our American history. Did he? Is that? Is please tell me that's not what he's alluding to. I don't know, man. I I, I can't even tell you. There's there's just so many different directions you can go with that. It's hopefully with this designation, this means that he has been checked out. And he is receiving the uh, care that he needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's just, it was just really weird from the very beginning. I was kind of wondering why he wasn't practicing during training camp for a couple of weeks. Uh, it's, it's just a weird situation. I don't know that we'll ever get the whole story about this. Probably some like peripheral player, like, you know, just some like a fun, like a, Pick a, a lighthearted, funny guy uh, on the team uh, in like AJ three years. Cole in like yeah, AJ years. Cole yeah. will say something in like three years on like the Pat McAfee show. Like, oh man, Chandler Jones. You want to know what really happened with Chandler Jones? Da, 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 and he spills it. Hey, hey, you made it to the end of our video. Great job. I know you want more. Go ahead and click the next video. And if you're feeling crazy, go ahead and subscribe.